And also joining us now on the show is uh, DMK MP Kani Mori and also the party's candidate from Tutukuri. Thank you so much, ma'am, for speaking to NDTV. You were among the big faces that were in the fray in the first phase of elections. More than two weeks are over. How do you see DMK's performance in the final outcome, particularly because voter turnout across the country has dipped? I definitely think that uh, DMK and uh, the India Alliance and Tamil Nadu will do very well and it will be a sweep again. And I think uh, the women, uh, you know, the percentage of the women voting more in this election is uh, also, also very, you can see it as a very positive thing for the uh, DMK government. Uh, it is like, uh, you know, uh, it's time to recognize the work uh, the Chief Minister has done, especially when it comes to the, um, you know, uh, the bus rides without, uh, uh, you, women don't have to pay for their uh, bus rides and uh, the thousand rupees uh, scheme, Kalengar Mahali Burimai Tobai, and especially the Pudumai Pen victim, where if a girl from uh, an underprivileged family uh, when she steps into college and if she comes from a government school, then every month uh, she's paid 1,000 rupees till she finishes uh, her uh, degree. So all these schemes are very poor, uh, pro-women uh, and uh, also uh, it is uh, a step in empowering them. So uh, I think uh, women are, uh, you know, uh, feeling uh, that the government is doing a lot for them and they uh, have come forward to vote uh, in this election in large numbers. And of course, uh, I think uh, the voter turnout is uh, low in many of the states, I think uh, is also because of the unprecedented uh, heat waves uh, which we are uh, facing also. Ma'am, you know, the debate around reservations has taken center stage in this election discourse. With the BJP saying that the Congress will bring in Muslim quotas and the opposition saying that the BJP will alter the reservation policy. As someone who comes from Tamil Nadu, from a state that has successfully implemented a policy of above 50% reservation, I know the case is still in court, but you have sur surpassed the ceiling that has been set by the Supreme Court. How do you see this debate around reservations? So it was Tamil Nadu who actually brought in the, our leaders were the ones who fought for the first uh, amendment to be changed and reservations to be brought in. Um, I uh, think it's just that, uh, you know, the BJP, because it is quite desperate now that it's trying to, you know, create a, a fear among in the minds of people. And of course, it's their uh, divide and rule policy, which is at uh, work now, which uh, keeps saying that, you know, the Congress and the India Alliance is, uh, you know, going to take away rights from everybody and uh, give it away to the minorities. Um, the, uh, reservation, I think it is about uh, the larger and uh, oppressed uh, Hindu majority. It is not... Uh, for the Muslims, which uh, reservations have been fought for. They, in Tamil Nadu, yes, there is a small percentage of reservation for the Muslims, but uh, uh, on a majority scale, it is for the um, uh, you know, backwards communities and the Dalits, uh, who are also Hindus, a majority of the Hindus. And uh, it is for them that uh, we fought for. So I think the BJP is completely confused about what reservation is. And uh, I think till uh, we can do away with caste system and uh, the hierarchy in caste system is uh, done away with, I think uh, uh, we have to have a reservation to protect the people who are oppressed and who are kept out of uh, the larger society. Till society becomes inclusive, truly inclusive. Uh, and uh, there is social justice. I think uh, reservation has to continue.